Hello everyone, this is Miss Chen Fei. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up holiday card. To start, we need some markers, a pencil, a pair of scissors, some glue, and some color paper. Of course, if you only use white paper, it should be fine too. Here, I do have a cardstock which is much heavier than the regular paper. Step number one, we are going to fold our paper in half like a hamburger folding. Then you need a pencil to draw some lines. Here, as you may see, I have four numbers pop up. So I need eight short lines on the side where we fold it. I marked the numbers inside so you can see where each number is. And if you only need one or two, you do not have to draw eight lines. If you're going to make a snowman pop up, you only need two lines. If you're going to make three stars pop up, you only need six lines. Then you're just going to cut each line and do not cut all the way to the end of the paper. Only cut the length of each line. The next step, you are going to fold each square up. You should have some extra space in between each square. And when you open your paper, you can just poke each square. It's kind of look like a cube. But that will be the base you're going to glue your pictures on. The construction paper is optional. You can always use white paper and then color them. Here, I'm going to make my first number 2 of 2021. And here, I'm going to show you two ways to do a number. Actually, there are two ways to cut the number. The first way is to cut exactly on the outline of the number. In this case, you may still see the little cube or the white square behind the number. So the second way might be a better choice. For the second way, you are still going to draw the number as you need it. But instead of cutting on the outline, you're just going to cut around the number. Do not cut on the outline, leave some extra paper on the outside. In this case, you can block the cube behind each number. I highly recommend you clean up your pencil marks if you did what I drew. Use a pencil to draw the draft first and then use a black marker or sharpie to trace the outline. In this case, you wouldn't make many mistakes. Simply make a design and then color your number. I'm going to do the same thing for my first example and my second example. For my second example, I'm going to use the colors from the rainbow, plus pink and brown.
you may save your two on the side and work on the second number, which will be number zero. And you may choose a different color of the paper, like a background, or just simply use color white. Now, I decide to make a party hat for my number zero. Feel free to make your numbers look fun and colorful. I decide to cut all my numbers like a bubble, so save some extra space around the number. Do not cut exactly on the outline. My holiday card is about the new year, so the new year will be 2021. I need two number twos for this card. Last number is number one for 2021. Since I decided to cut the bubble shape, I just cut an oval shape and then drew the one in the middle of the shape. You only need one side to have some glue to tape your numbers. Here I'm using a pencil to show you exactly where the glue should go.
you put the glue on, make sure you hold each number for about five seconds and close and open the card, see if it works. After we close our card, we realize from the outside, you can see the extra space in there. So I'm going to tape this orange paper on the outside of my card. You do not have to tape the whole card. You may tape half just to make your card more colorful. making a Happy New Year card, I'm going to write Happy New Year on the cover. After we finish the cover, we are going to work more on the inside. It's good we focus on the cover first because we can leave some time for the numbers to get dried. I'm going to write hello as a pop-up element on the inside of the card to make it work with the numbers. So when you open the card, you can read as hello 2021.
you may simply glue your hello to the inside of the card or make a little bit of structure behind it. If you're going to make your hello pop up, make sure you have a U kind of shape to hold the hello or whatever element you are going to make. After you finish the pop-up hello, you may draw some decoration for your card or simply write some messages. For watching wish you a happy holiday season and happy winter break see you next year